meron ka bang email list? Pero itong email list mo, 5 years na to, 10 years ago pa to, can I still use it? Can I use my company's email list? In this video, I'm gonna answer that question and share with you tips on how to grow your email list and build a relationship with your subscribers. Let's go! Hey Tycoons, this is Fibolim, your partner in internet marketing. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you grow your business online. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so that every time we publish new videos, you are gonna get notified. Hey, before you begin, I wanna invite you to my free training where I'm gonna walk you through how you can implement everything that you're gonna learn on this video. Go ahead and visit this link, fibolim.com slash class to register for this free masterclass. Let's now begin. Christina, can you share with us what do you sell? What do you need help with in this session? So, I uh, gusto ko pong gamitin yung email marketing. I have more than like 15,000 to 20,000 email lists of my previous client, which is, I don't know kung sino pa sa kanila ang active at hindi. Pwede ko bang gamitin yun quote as like starting ko para mag-sell nung product ko online? When you acquire this 15 to 20,000 email list, how did you acquire it ba? I work po kasi sa sales. So what happened is that lahat po nung email namin is in-store po namin on my one email account, which is long time back na po siya. I'm not engaged na po with the company like three to four years na kasi. First off is this, no? creating an email subscriber list isn't just getting emails, okay? Because some people do this, they buy an email list, you know, how many emails do you have? 10,000, can you buy them? And then I have now 10,000 people. That doesn't work. And the reason why, it's because it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. What matters is the quality of your subscribers, the relationship of your subscribers. So that means that even if you have 100,000 subscribers, in which actually happened to me back then, I was so busy with other things, I was not able to build that relationship with my subscribers, okay? And because of that, they forget about me, they don't know about me, they don't open my email. So remember this, that this is not only for email, this also works for many chat, for every other platform. It's not about getting the information only and then you stop. It's about the relationship that you're building with them, okay? So my recommendation is that it's gonna be hard if you're gonna use this 15 to 20,000 emails to sell another product. And the reason why, because you did not have a relationship with them, right? You just got this email list and you don't have a relationship relationship with them. So even if you email them, they don't know who you are. And then there's a possibility that your account will get shut down because they're going to report you as a spam, right? That's why I'm asking, uh, how did you get this email? Kasi mangyayari nito, this goes for everyone as well, no? When you get an email address kasi with regards to email marketing, you have to give away something for free. You have to give what you call a lead magnet. Lead magnet means like you're creating a magnet to attract leads, to attract prospects. You, know, you want to give away something for free, which is a lead called a lead magnet. So it goes like this, you know? I have this free ebook, I have this free product, enter your name and email so that you can claim this free something, okay? And now, yun nga, I'm referring to, it's very important kung saan mo kinuha yung email list because mm -hmm. if kinuha mo siya because they want that physical product and then you're selling them a different offer, they're gonna mark you as spam again. Okay, Kumaga, you're getting their information because they want to buy your watch. And mm -hmm. then later on, you sold them a dating program. So, walang match nun, okay? When you collect an email list, dapat may theme siya. Kumaga, you got their email because kumaga, they want to buy this watch, okay? So, you can sell something similar or kumaga mag match sa gusto nila. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can okay. be a brand, it can be a physical product. I'm gonna give you an example. So, bumili sila ng watch, pwede din sila naging mag interested sa you know, necklace, wristband, or accessories. Mm -hmm. So, that's why you. It's important yeah. to understand how you got this email list so that mm -hmm. you are only selling products that are similar. Because these people are raising their hands that they mm -hmm. want accessories. They want mm -hmm. that particular team that you're selling. So going back to the question, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You don't want to run ads because you don't have the budget, etc. And the thing is this, running ads, you only need 50 pesos. We all have that mindset when we start, no, na, ah, yung Facebook ads mahal, so I don't want to do Facebook ads because it's expensive. But what we don't realize is that you only need 50 pesos, right? You only need 100 pesos to run an ad. Okay, ba, Christina? Let's say you're gonna spend 100 pesos on ads, pero it will make you 200 pesos. Are you gonna spend more on ads no, or not? Yes, po. <laughs> so, so yes, now, po. advertising is no longer an expense. It's now an investment, okay? Mm. So that's how we were able to spend millions in ads every single month. It's because 
wala kami budget. I tell my team, I'm gonna tell you, wala kong advertising budget. I'm gonna give you as much money. Go ahead, spend it all. It's because mm-hmm. we know that advertising is no longer an expense for us. It's an investment. The more I spend, the more I make money. That's the entire concept, okay? Aside from Christina, it goes for everyone else, no? I want you to remember that advertising is not an expense. It's an investment. So, the more you spend on ads, the more you make money. My assignment for you is okay. to go through the Facebook ads training, no? You learn those Facebook ads. Kasi technically, you're starting from scratch. Don't be in a rush. I want you to just absorb information and then mm-hmm. you start implementing one at a time, okay? When you start implementing one at a time, it's not gonna be like in a single month, you know, you're gonna be rich. It's a slow process and you should be okay with that, okay? okay. It's gonna take time. Minsan kasi rushing things might allow you to fall. Hi, thanks so much for watching. If you want to join our community so that you're gonna get an opportunity to have a coaching call with me and together with thousands of students, then I wanna invite you to join my free masterclass so that you also know how you can implement everything you've learned on this video. Go ahead and visit this link, feebolium.com slash class to register for a free seat now. Once again, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, I want you to go ahead, click subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that every time we publish new videos, you are gonna get notified. Once again, this is Fibo Lim. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode.